In this session, we'll illustrate how layers can be used to organize different types of design information. We'll continue working on the drawing of the floor plan that we created in the previous two sessions. In order to display information about the layers in our drawing, we'll click on the Layers icon. As we can see, the only layer that currently exists is Layer 0. This is the default layer that geometry is placed on unless the user creates additional layers. We'll now create a new layer on which the bathroom fixtures will be placed. We do this by first clicking on the New button. Now we'll key in the name Bathroom to replace the default name assigned by AutoCAD. In order to change the color of the objects that will be drawn on this layer, we'll click on the color square. Now we'll select the color Cyan and then click on the OK button. In order to cause the objects that we are about to create to lie on our new layer, we'll now click on the current button followed by clicking on the OK button. As we can see, bathroom is listed in the current layer window along with its icons that indicate visibility, status, color, and so forth. Now we'll click on the zoom real time icon and then press and hold down the left mouse button while moving the cursor up. To stop the zoom process, we'll now click on the escape key. We'll now click on the pan icon and then reposition the floor plan, followed by pressing the escape key to end the pan option. The first object that we'll draw will be a rectangle that represents the outline of the bathtub. We'll start by clicking on the rectangle icon. And then we'll click on the snap to endpoint icon. Followed by clicking on the lower right inside corner of the bathroom wall. Now we'll key in the relative coordinates at negative 2 feet 6 inches comma 5 feet 10 inches to define the opposite corner of the rectangle. We'll define the inner shape of the tub by drawing another rectangle, so we'll start by clicking on that icon now. The inner rectangle will start 3 inches from the bottom and right edges of the outer rectangle, so we'll click on the Snap From icon followed by clicking on the Snap to Endpoint icon. We'll now click on the corner of the outer rectangle and then key in an offset of at negative 3 inches comma 3 inches. To define the other corner, we'll key in at negative 2 feet comma 4 feet 7 inches. In order to place fillets at the corners, we must first click on the explode icon and then select the rectangle that we just created. We'll now right click to end the explode command which breaks the rectangle into four separate lines. We'll now use the fillet command to first specify the radius as 3 inches and then place a fillet at each corner. Creation of the other objects in the bathroom can be done using similar techniques. Now that we have objects on two different layers, let's take a look at how we can modify their visibility. We'll start by clicking on the layer control box. We'll now click on the light bulb icon of layer 0 followed by clicking on the bathroom layer again. Notice that the walls that are defined on layer 0 are no longer visible. This is because the display of everything on layer 0 has been turned off. Let's now reverse the process and make layer 0 visible and turn off the display of the bathroom layer. We'll also make layer 0 the current layer by clicking on its name. We'll now illustrate how objects can be moved between layers. We'll start by creating a new layer named Walls and set its color to green. We'll now set this new layer as our current layer. Now we'll left click and hold the left mouse button while dragging a window that encloses the entire floor plan. We'll now left click the mouse again to select all of the enclosed objects. We'll now move all of the selected objects to the layer named Walls by first clicking in the layer control box and then clicking on the name Walls. We'll now click the escape key twice to end the process.